Good morning YouTube. It is super early in the morning on the 13th of September 2023 and even though it's early there's been a cool down in the state of Texas. It is only now 80 degrees inside of my workshop and I couldn't sleep last night so decided to wake up and try and do something productive. So got these firewood logs you've guys seen me do projects with them before and I didn't want to use epoxy I didn't have any bowl blanks set up so instead of starting a new project I thought I would start and finish uh, a project today so got this out of like a clump of firewood that's in the in the workshop just drying out and man that's a lot of bark so nice cool flat piece didn't think anything of it got that bark off of it Taking it over to the miter saw and just cutting off a chunk. My whole plan was just to make a little bitty bowl, nothing too fancy. Get the face plate on there and just see if we can make something. However, what I did not anticipate was that it was going to turn out a lot smaller than I initially planned. And I'm screwing the face plate on here and the face plate is bigger than the actual bowl. I don't know why in the world I thought I could make a, like a bowl with this small piece of wood but if you guys saw the thumbnail i'm sure you guys did we ended up making something pretty cool but it just didn't turn out the way i anticipated because sometimes when you're just sleep deprived and you're trying to sleep and you can't sleep and you're just sitting there in bed and your mind's racing a million miles per hour sometimes you just i don't know don't think things all the way through but it's good to just be creative do something constructive rather than just sitting there flipping through social media a lot of the time so that was the whole point of today's project i really didn't anticipate doing a bonus video but just kind of turned out that way so we're making a tenon we did that made one turned out okay and i'm still thinking all right we can make a pretty decent sized bowl out of this but we're gonna get this flipped over put onto the chuck jaws and realize it's gonna be a lot more complicated than i thought it was a nice piece of flat wood that we're using here and it did fit into the chuck jaws real nice and neat but the problem is there's not enough material on the side of it to really make anything substantial so at this point i pretty much knew i wasn't going to have you know a decent sized bowl this is going to be basically a miniature but i thought you know what we could also probably just make a lid with it as well so here i am just trying to get everything squared down uh, usually to a nice cylinder but I decided to go with a v-shaped taper because there was such a lack of material on the bottom toward the headstock that I realized you're gonna have to do something a little bit different if you want to salvage this because as I was working down the material I realized more and more that hey this is not gonna work out the way you envisioned so what I ended up doing was going with a deep V taper shape and realizing that this is just going to be like a very small miniature project gouged it out really fast this took no time at all and just coming back with the tools and just trying to get to a nice depth because we're going to take the parting tool and then we're going to go ahead and just separate this from the main piece here and then we're just cleaning up the edges here but trying to salvage something and it's super duper small but the good thing about small projects that are like this they don't take any time to sand so we went from like 120 up to 180 i thought this was going to be a different colored wood i didn't know this was pine uh, i've been using like firewood in the past and getting really cool colors out of it i don't know what kind of wood i thought this was but it's it's stupid pine and i'm like damn it so once i started to like work down the material i realized that this is just pine and i'm like ugh, lame but we kept on going even though it's not super fancy wood and it doesn't have like a lot of cool grain to it i just went ahead and just kept on going because hey we got this far might as well just keep it keep it trucking so we used the parting tool gouged down a lot of that material on the base and then we just took the handsaw sanded it down uh, and then we came back and I was like, all right, well, this is kind of lame. Let's add a lid to it. And I need to start making more lids with my bowls. I haven't done that in, in like quite a long time. So I decided, you know what? It's early in the morning. I'm not doing anything. And this project kind of is a little lame. So what better way than to practice doing something you haven't done before? So you saw me there trying to put the faceplate on and it went right through this pine and it broke off. So now I'm switching up sides and trying to keep it together a little bit i'm like all right well let's try to make something out of this little block of wood and i realized on this one i didn't have to make 
it very large. I knew that a lot of material was just going to get worked down, but I needed to save enough of it to where the lid would fit appropriately on the base of the pole itself. And this part didn't take very long. Uh, even though I haven't made uh, lids to my bowls in a very long time, it's you know it's like riding a bike. You never forget how to do it. Still, same principles kind of apply, just trying to get everything worked down, size up the chuck jaws so that it can fit, so you can reverse it, and then really start working down the material into a shape that you want. And uh, that's essentially what we did here. Just work the material off a little bit. Again, going with like a deep V type shape because there's not enough material on the side to where you could actually have enough material to make a large lid but we didn't need it to be very big the bowl itself isn't very large so this part didn't take any time at all and by this time i was you know kind of realized what i was doing here and just wanted to have something simple again i was really disappointed this was pine and i was like oh i really thought it, you know if it was a darker wood with a better grain i really was going to be a lot more happier with it but when i realized it was this pine i'm like oh and I like to work with pine, but I was really hoping that this was going to turn into something a little bit different. So kind of disappointed in that, kind of womp-womp about it, but uh, it's it's good practice. So you need reps. Reps are reps regardless of uh, the type of material that you're working with. And all we're doing here is shaping the lid. I ended up taking a little too much material off so we don't get a good seal. And then we're just coming back with a smaller carbide tool and making... Uh, the top of the lid here and then we'll go ahead and start sanding it down and we'll have a lot of issues uh, up to this point so same thing sanded it 120 all the way up to 180 and, and then we just came back and hit it with some wood wax but overall you know sometimes you just can't sleep and man I just couldn't go to bed so you guys are watching this this morning I'm doing this commentary it's like almost four in the morning and you guys are watching this around 10 o'clock but overall you know happy with how it turned out we had something to show for it so it looks kind of cool just a little bonus project i guess you just need reps repetition uh, practice i guess so hopefully in the future we'll get some better wood that isn't pine and make something a lot cooler out of it but overall kind of happy how it turned out we need to start making things with more lids and this is what it looks like not too bad not too shabby not my best work but it looks pretty cool uh but yeah, you can still see the drill holes in there as well. So I should have burned it, but it was late at night, so I didn't end up doing that. But hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys are getting better sleep than I am. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace. All right, so project is done. You can look at this little guy. This came out a lot smaller than I thought it would. But we got something out of it. So that's all that matters for this project. So it is 2.15 in the morning right now. Today is September 13th, uh, 2023. So this will just be a bonus video uh, for this week. I just can't fall asleep and wanted to do something creative because your mind starts racing and you just need to be creative and put that energy somewhere else. So uh, we got this cool little thing. It's cool. I really thought this wood wasn't pine. So I bought a whole thing of firewood and I assume this is pine because it's boring and has no color to it and it's kind of lame. Uh, but you know, we're practicing lids. We need to start making stuff with lids on the channel. So that's essentially where we're going with this one. But it's a cool little thing. You can put something in it maybe and then just cover it up. It doesn't seal unfortunately. Uh, but I think we're going to practice more things with lids uh, on the channel. Uh, don't worry, there will still be a, a video on Sunday if you're interested, so that's coming, but just thought I would do something creative in the workshop. Uh, it's it's beautiful in Texas right now, it's like 70 degrees, it's, yes, it's like 81-ish, 82-ish degrees inside the shop, but it's better than 95, so doing better things, but overall, I really liked it, learned a lot from it, unfortunately this wood is pine, so that kind of sucks, uh, but cool little, cool little bowl, so... Anyway, uh, hope you guys are having a good day, good week. Like I said, there will still be a video on Sunday. Uh, but got something done and put that energy towards something productive. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, all that bullshit. I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.